Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Hope you guys are having a great day out there. It is a beautiful Saturday here in Southern California. Uh, this is, what are we on, March 2nd now, so we're at the beginning of March. And I first wanted to just start off by thanking everyone for birthday wishes. My birthday is the end of April. It's always nice to get uh, birthday wishes from everybody. It makes you feel extra special on your birthday. So thank you for everybody who uh, left me any birthday messages, either Instagram, Facebook, whatever. I do want to go over some cool things that are coming up for March, so I'm really excited and really, really uh, grateful. Um, I can't even really think of the word for it, but uh, excited is one of them. But uh, this month, Robbie is now a district manager as well, so I am now an executive district manager at Arbonne, and Robbie is already an, a, a district manager now. Uh, the month of March so congratulations he really worked his ass off this month and uh, he deserves everything that is coming his way as well um, it's really showing he has one of the strongest districts um, of any of uh, my consultants in my network so I'm really super super proud of him and super super grateful for all of the stuff that he did he did the baskets for the donations for the thank a health hero he put those together he dropped them off uh letty thank you so much for participating and thank you for being a great client to robbie uh, i know mandy dana you guys have all been great clients of robbie's uh, so i really do appreciate the support i appreciate everything that you guys are doing um, and helping us and getting this going with us. It really means a lot. I'd like to thank my clients, um, Aunt Kathy, Aunt uh, Sissy. Uh, I have quite a few others that I can't really think of off the top of my head that I'm sure I'm forgetting. Ariana, thank you for participating. And, and just even for uh, Lisa, Shana, for you know sampling products and uh, trying them out with me, which I did a yoga class this morning in Shana. It was great. Thank you so much for that too. I really did need that. It's been amazing to have that. Um, so I'm super excited. There's a lot of cool things coming up. We have summer. Uh, my sister-in-law joined our bond, so I want to get her to be district this month. So hopefully uh, June she can be a, a district manager as well. Uh, so if there is something that you're thinking about or if you want to you know, just get a side hustle going and you have questions on how to get started, it's super easy and I can show you how to do it. And we'd love to have uh, more of you guys on our team, especially in our videos that we're going to be doing uh, coming up. Robbie and I have a lot more uh, videos coming up, especially after the makeup video. That was a huge hit. Everyone really liked that one. So uh, we will definitely be bringing you something new. Uh, so I'm super excited about all that. Uh, did want to just say that if um, last couple of weeks I've kind of been a little bit out, a little bit off this COVID thing. This is like at first I'll say at the end of March when it was all going down and even the beginning of April things were moving and grooving and everything felt great and I don't know the last couple of weeks have just been funky or in somewhat of a funk and so it's just not really been the same. So. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to work on is getting myself out of that funk, getting back and you know, having more interactions with people and seeing and talking to everybody. Uh, that does make it all worth it. It makes it more fun. It makes it more, um, more of a distraction, especially during these times while we're trying to figure out what our next moves are. And, you know, I know that a lot of you guys may be suffering from all of the craziness uh, financially. I've had financial stress before in my life. Uh, and it was extremely difficult uh, to deal with. And I was really, really um, strapped by the debt stress. And so the last couple of weeks, even though we're nowhere near that, it's just sort of bringing up a lot of those emotions and something that I was like, oh, you know, we're never gonna have this problem again. And we don't have any problems or anything like that, but uh, just not getting uh, consistent paychecks the last couple of months uh, have been a little bit stressful uh, there are some we you know I'm, I'm nothing and I don't want to say it in any way like I know my situation is totally different people are way worse off than I am so I'm not trying to say that I'm bad off by any means it has nothing to do with that um, just more so how certain things can trigger emotions of times in your life where things really were bad and you thought that you, know, you kind of forgot them because you just didn't really want to remember those. And then something happens like this and it sort of brings back or re-triggers that emotion. And then all of a sudden you become like a, 
like a victim or you become uh, encapsulated or something by these emotions and it, it just kind of is like a thought that you can't really get rid of so uh, distractions for me are usually the thing that help get rid of that and I, I'll focus on something in the meantime to to brush that that thing that is like lingering in the back of my mind to get it off or to get it away from the back of my mind I'll put something in the front of my mind so I get very into things and then it makes it harder for me to stay focused so uh, the goal for May for me this month is to just work on that um, part of doing something new is trying things that are new and trying things that are different so that's what I'm gonna keep doing we're gonna keep doing things that are new and different and keep working through all of these emotions and these times and you know the tensions that are arising right now from it and just being able to find peace in all of it and you know, there's a lot of things that I am thankful for that have happened. I have not had to travel. Um, I haven't had to work, which has been nice, So, but I also haven't had to travel, uh, which means that I've been home and that's been really cool. We've been able to get some stuff done around the house. So we've been doing yard work, we demoed a bathroom and all kinds of stuff. So I, that's also been a distraction, but just wanted to wake up this morning and uh, shout out some major appreciation though uh, first and foremost to Robbie he really did kill it last month so I just wanted to to give him a lot a lot of love for his efforts and more than efforts his drive and everything he really just kind of powers through things and he doesn't realize this but if for me he's been sort of an emotional driver to help me get through all of this as well because He's somebody that knows how to get through things and I get stuck a little bit faster than he does and I wish that I could power through things as well as he does. And so I super admire that and I brought him onto my team so that I could show him all about Arbon. And uh, the truth of the matter is he showed me more than just about a company. He showed me some life skills that um, are pretty invaluable. So I appreciate him for that more than he will ever know and i just wanted to say thank you and i hope you guys are having a great weekend i hope you're having a great saturday uh, we will be in a production studio or whatever you want to call it coming up soon so that we can entertain you in this quarantine and hopefully i can get my mind off of this funk so if you're feeling funky then let's unfunky as soon as possible and have a great weekend and we will check with you soon thanks guys <laughs>